everybody. Hope everybody is well. And I'm going to do a short video today. When you see this, I'll actually be uh, in Maryland. My husband's father passed away. He had a great life. Uh, he was 94. And we uh, have traveled up north to go to the funeral. So I just wanted to get the video finished for this week before I left and hope you enjoy this. I'm back in my uh, collage album that, and I switched albums from the one that I worked in last week because the sticky stuff just wasn't really great. And I transferred all the gatherings that I did into this notebook that I already had. So, also picked up at Goodwill. So, I'm, I'm going to go through these. I did a few more little gathering pages. And if you miss this video, I'll, I will uh, link it and I'll put a card up here in the corner. Um, or up here. I can't remember where it is. But these are the gatherings that I pull from the the uh, magazine clippings and the digital clippings that I have. And, um, and this one is a, uh, is going to be a larger collage, but I picked up these two pieces together and I thought that these boys jumping off of this tulip looked really fun so I'll have to find a background and then this uh, picture of me kind of popped out and I'm probably going to take part of this and and make a petal out of this out of my face but I've pretty much decided that this is the one I'm going to work on today um, I, I started actually with this piece that was left over from one of my digital kits and I'll link that below uh, and this was a piece from uh, one of my digital kits too and that kind of dictated the colors that I was working with I was knew I was going to work with a pink palette and then I found the complementary color in this green artichoke and also in these words up here that say don't worry um, so I like these colors, I like the layouts, I like the options of the eyes that I found. So let's get started. I'm going to put some music on and put this together and at the end of the video let's see what happens as far as a message to myself or a message from myself or my soul. Let's see what story is going to be told through these images. So I'm just going to put some music on and I'll be with you in just a minute.
Okay, this is really different from what I usually do. Um, and I'm, I, I have to say, I love the colors. I love the way that there's, uh, you know, there's a balance of color in here. The green here is carried through in the eye and in the artichoke and the pinks and right in here the edges of the flower and the pinks and varying uh, shades and tones of, of pink. Uh, I love the way that the eye, the uh, reds and the eyes are picked up here in these background colors and I have been watching a lot of videos about Hannah Hawk, who was the, I think, the premier Dada artist, female artist, who is somewhat overlooked during that time period. And, you know, I was fast, totally fascinated with Helma of Klint uh, and her layouts and her uh, paintings and collages. So I, I see some of the influence of their work in this. Uh, obviously, I'm, you know, there are undertones of the fact that I am aging and my father-in-law just passed away, um, but my, here's this little gift given to me, don't worry. You know, don't worry. Um, enjoy life uh, every day that we have. I see things flowery, but then I also recognize the difficult times here in this eye. Um, but there's a little tiny rose up here in the lashes that I really like. Um, this mouth is from one of my old diva collages, very full, very sensuous, uh, and I like the way that really um, holds up on its own on this page. Um, I think I'm going to have to sit with this for a while and then um, write about it in my blog on my website to really grasp what this message is all about, but obviously it's about the passing of time, um, aging, and little message here, don't worry, don't worry about it. So um, again, I think I'm gonna write about this in my on my blog, on my website, www.collagemagic.com. Let's see what comes to me as I'm writing. I, I might do some poetic writing around this, whatever comes up to my, and how I feel, whatever comes up in my mind, whatever feelings arise, uh, whatever thoughts arise, and see what's really happening in here. Now remember, I'm putting these in my album and this will definitely tell a story. I think I, you know, when all this is dry and everything, I'm gonna put a, a black line around it to kind of hold it together. Okay, here we are. This week's message from self. putting these clear corners on here. So, so, you know, it appears to be a little disturbing. Okay, I have to say, as disturbing as it is, 
I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this um, and will do some of your own messages from self and or soul, whichever way you want to look at this. And uh, go about and gather and collect your images and just spend some time with yourself and see what your deepest self has to say to you. Okay, I wish you many blessings and bye for now.